Miss Rashida from Hit Show Love and Hip Hop ATL. How are you doing? I'm good, girl. I can't complain. <laughs> I know that's right. So, um, as many of you are aware, you have been in the game for a while. I mean, you you were in a group. Am I right? You were in um, the Capers. Mm-hmm. I started the off Capers. in a three girl rap group when I was just a little preteen, wow. trying to get my so feet how- wet and trying to do my thing. <laughs> I understand that. So how was that? Like, how did how did you actually get into that? How did y'all form that group? You know, we were just all young girls just who liked to dance and rap and, and stuff. And so finally we just decided, you know what, we should just be a group and, and try to, um, you know, put some songs together and get around and just try to get discovered and get signed and stuff like that. So that's exactly what we decided to do. We just came together, formed a group got our little net together, and finally, you know, after working together for some years, we were able to sign with Tilo, um, which mm-hmm. is the label I'm still with now, and um, mm-hmm. put out an independent album, and after a couple years went by, we kind of just decided to go our separate ways, and I became a solo artist. Wow. So how do you really, if any, do you think the female respect has changed from when you were doing it then to now? You know, the game just changes so much throughout the years, you know, but it's it, it changes so much, but it kind of changes and does similar things. Like, you know, we go through these times where, you know, the female MC is on like a quiet, it's kind of quiet, you know, it's not a whole, whole lot going on. And wow. Um, so how do you really feel about the female rappers that's out now? Not, you know, throwing any thought or anything, but do you think it's fake? Is it watered down? Um, I mean, I wouldn't say watered down. I would say you get to a point where you know, certain artists just dare to be different and do whatever the hell they want to do. And, Mm -hmm. you know, you can't be mad at that when it works, you know, (laughs) just being honest. I think that, um, you know, I think that it's definitely a place for, for females and for females who come with that real, you know, spitting that real and talking that real to definitely come in and, and lay that groundwork down which equals to myself, (laughs) who's coming in and just doing that boss bitch music, you know, and just repping for the ladies and and holding it down and talking about experiences and things that I've seen that I've been through and just things that come straight from the heart, and -hmm. that's what it is. So I definitely think it's the place and the time and and everything right now. Yeah, and I definitely commend you for actually staying real within your music because, like I said, a lot of people are just, they're out here just talking about whatever, but you actually... You know, we can relate to your music. You're talking about real stuff, so I commend you on that. Thank you, girl. Mm-hmm. So jumping right into that show, Love and Hip Hop. Mm-hmm. Y'all are, are definitely giving it to us. We got the drama. We got the, the positive, the negative. How did you go about being on the show? Like, what made you want to say, yeah, I'll do it? Um, It definitely is kind of a kind of a, like a slogan of my life, you know, being a married woman and being in hip hop. You know, and having love and loving my music and my career and loving my family and loving my husband. And it definitely, um, of all the things that I was kind of like in talks with people with, that's mm-hmm. something that kind of, you know, stood out a little bit to me that was close, closest to, you know, being able to show me, you know, the actual me. So that was one reason why, you know, you know, I decided to go ahead and move forward with it. And it was, it, you know, the process was, was real cool. It was just a few meetings. Mm-hmm. And voila, magic. There it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Explain that balance. Um, having, you know, your husband as your manager. Because um, I know on one of the recent episodes, y'all had kind of got into it a little bit. But right. explain, you know, having that balance. Um I have to be real with you to say it can be difficult sometimes, you know, being married and working together, you know, as closely as we do. First and foremost, being in a marriage just takes work, you know, and then when you double that up with working together, okay, you tend to bump heads a little bit more because you don't always see eye to eye. But, you know, one thing I do know is he is always looking out for my best interest. And even though I may bicker back and forth with him about certain things and him coming back at me about certain things, you know, we, we're, all, we're both pushing towards one main goal, which is to push our record company and push forward, you know, and grow and, and be able to achieve the goals at hand, which is, you know, sell units and, and, you know, continuously promote the Rashida project and Rashida brand. And, you know, anytime in life you're dealing with stuff like that, you're going to bump heads. Things like, you know, every day ain't 
you know, rainbows and stars, girl, please. We get into yeah. it. We have our problems. We have our issues. But, you know, it makes our relationship stronger. It makes our business stronger. We make mistakes. We fix them. Some we don't fix that we learn from. And that's just what it is. That's beautiful. Um, <laughs> explain your relationship with the other women on the show. Because I can see already you're about no drama, which is good. So explain <laughs> your relationship <laughs> with the other women. Um, We are you know, me and the other girls on the show, we're cordial. We can stand in the room and get along and, you know, we, you know, some of, you know, some, I'm cooler with some than others, you know, I, I you know, I, I be around, you know, some more than others, but, you know, I'm cool, honey, look, I got things I'm trying to do. I ain't got time to be doing nothing crazy with no females. <laughs> I don't know. Why you got trying to be fighting in the streets and doing all that kind of stuff? Mm-mm. Not cool. So what about the men? Are you cool with the men also on the show, Scrappy and all of those um, people? Um, I don't really know Stevie J like that. Um, oh, Scrappy's yeah. somebody I've known for a good minute. You know, Scrappy's fam, he, he's real cool with me and Kirk, you know, so mm-hmm. that's cool. Um, and, I mean, other than that, you know, that's pretty much it. <laughs> okay, being one of the faves on the show, what do you actually want people to get from the show on your part? What is actually your message? You know, my message is, you know, I want people to understand that right now in 2012, you can be happily married. You can, you know, be a, a, a woman who's going hard for what she believes in as far as her family is concerned, as far as her career is concerned. Keep it classy. Still have a little hood with it. You know, ain't no wrong with hood. <laughs> and, um, and just, you know, just so that you can make all of these things, you can br- put them all together and make them all work. You know, it just takes time and it takes patience. And, you know, it's, you know, you know, me and my husband are really trying to accomplish a lot of things. And, you know, we want to show people that you can be husband and wife and raise your kids in the house with their mama and their daddy, you know, and just go hard. Like, it's not the same depiction all the time of black people. And that's one thing I want people to take away, besides the fact that I'm, like, the best female rapper on, in the, on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> real. Um, so do you have any, speaking of that, do you have anything, mixtapes, anything coming out soon? Yes, right now, please go to iTunes, Boss Chick Music, the album is available right now. The single that you see me um, talking about and shooting the video to on the show, Marry Me, mm-hmm. is available on that album, along with the single, Legs to the Moon, featuring Candy, and that video will be dropping soon. The Marry Me video will be dropping soon, and you can get all that stuff on iTunes. All right. So, speaking, I also had to ask you a question. I, I follow you on Instagram. I follow you on Twitter, all of that, and your hair and makeup is always on 10. It's always on point. Thank you. Who does your uh, your makeup and hair and all that? My hair, mostly, um, his name is Dallas. Um mm-hmm. An amazing stylist. People always be asking me um, those questions or what kind of weave do I wear. 98% of the time I don't have weave in. <laughs> so it's wow. just my hair. Yeah. And um, oh, as far as my makeup, um, I work with a couple of people actually. A lot of times I'm tweeting headed to work or whatever, headed to, you know, shoot or photo shoots and different stuff like that. But there's a couple of people, um, a girl named Alex, a guy named Jonathan, um, mm-hmm mainly, you know, do my face, so, as of right now, so, it's, you know, I be getting beat up, they be beating me up, yeah, they definitely, <laughs> I love they it, you up. I'm telling you, yeah. I be like, Wait, Grace is her makeup always on point, thank um, you, but also, I be checking out your, your Unbossy uh, website as well, with the clothes, the jewelry, y'all definitely have to check that out, I've seen some, couple of things, I'm going to order the kiss rings and the teardrop bracelets, um, explain that website, how did you, you know, come about trying to put that together? You know, I am such a freaking accessory junkie. Like, it's something mm-hmm. that I always did. Like, I always go, I'll go shopping, and there's not a time that I can't buy an outfit or shoes or anything and not pick up earrings or something like that. So I was like, you know what, with me loving that so much, and um, me and Kurt were talking, and I was like, you know what, we need to go ahead and start, you know, the website. And it's been about a year and a half now, and it's been going really, really well. And it's just, I like funky, fun stuff, you know, and, and things mm-hmm. that, you know, that really just top an outfit off. You know, you can have one something extremely simple and throw on a necklace and some earrings or, you know, some bracelets and just add that extra little umph, and that's what I like. Um, So definitely 
go online. It's I'm Bossy, I-M-B-O-S-S-Y dot com, and check it out. Place your order. Get your T-shirts. All my T-shirts are slogans from my music. So wow. that's how I get down with that. Yeah, they pretty dope, so I love it. So um, you got a Twitter, website, anything where your fans can reach out to you? Yes, make sure y'all follow me on Twitter. I am at Rashida. It's the ad sign, and it's R-A-S-H-E-E-D-A. Follow me on Instagram. I'm at Rashida, the D-A, boss, B-O-S-S, C-H-I-C-K. Make sure you go to YouTube and check out all my videos. I'm YouTube.com forward slash D-L-O-117. And make sure you go to iTunes and buy all my music, especially my new album, Boss Chick Music. Go to iTunes right now. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys heard it here, Miss Rashida herself. And we definitely, definitely, definitely look forward to some of those episodes coming up on Love & Hip Hop. And um, thank you for being with us today. Thank you, everybody. Make sure you tune in Monday nights at 8 o'clock on VH1. <laughs> All right, then. Thank you.